Hello everyone and welcome to episode 116 of the 10 minute modeling challenge. This week I'm going to be modeling something from the Infensia Discord server weekly modeling challenge again and I think Arvid there is running out of themes because this week it's uh, the theme is blue. So I thought okay there's pretty much falls under that umbrella and I think I might actually model a jellyfish because I've heard like there are some pretty dangerous jellyfish in the oceans around here so I thought maybe I'll just model a blue jellyfish I'm pretty sure they're blue well some of them are anyway but before that maybe a little bit news update as well because uh, I've just moved into a new house last week uh, that's my excuse for missing it last week uh, I was supposed to do a, an episode last week but since we moved actually I had everything unpacked and everything but I was so tired after all the logging of uh, things from the old house to the new house so I gave that as a little bit of an excuse and I had a bit of a rest but I'm feeling much better now and excited to do some more modeling I'm really enjoying this new place that we moved to it's only about five minutes drive from the old house but it's a little bit more quiet a little bit more uh, a different type of house and I'm, I'm thinking we're gonna be really happy here so we're renting it again we'll see how long we get to stay in this one but I'm gonna be recording some stuff here and you might actually not see see that much of a difference uh, in the video because I've moved the same furniture I've got the same shelves and the same little lights and everything like that whoops so it might look pretty similar but I'm definitely in a different place right now but I'm still happy in the Brisbane area here maybe a little bit of a news update in the game dev world as well so after the turbulence that unity went through with the new pricing change that they had to revert a little bit I was happy to see that the CEO John Riccitello or whatever his name is is uh, finally like leaving <laughs> unity I think ever since uh, David Helgeson uh, stepped down as CEO and uh, it was taken over by JR, it's been heading all like away from the game dev and uh, the developers and making a solid single engine into like more pleasing the shareholders and making it look attractive in the shareholders market. So I hope that we're taking a little bit of a step back to just focusing on the engine and making sure the features that it's actually serving runs well instead. All right, and what else is new? So I'm working on Line War. That's no surprise to anyone because I've been doing that for the past four years, but it's a little bit different now because uh, I've actually stepped down a little bit. Uh, I'm doing consulting or contracting work now on Line War. Funny enough, since it's my own game, well, it's not really my own game anymore because uh, I had to step down a little bit and focus on other things, my assets and things like that, because because uh, I worked on Line War for four years and when we released it, it was a good success when it comes to releasing. It would have been a good success if we had spent one year making it. But it's really difficult to earn a living from that game and after pushing four years I had to really make a decision that I'm not going to be able to sustain the development that I'm putting into that. But I'm really excited for the future of Line War because I really think that game has something to offer. Every time I play it I'm really excited and I'm, I'm sorry to say that not more people have enjoyed it to the point where <laughs> I think it's needed. But I think it's definitely got a chance to grow over time. I think it's going to be actually a bit of a different trend from other games. So Basantos is working away full time on the game and I'm doing contracting work for the game as well. So Basantos is now the 100% owner of Line War and uh, I've stepped down so I'm just uh, providing contracting for the next year or so. But that also enables me to focus a lot more on my Infensia assets and my own game. So I'm uh, stepping up the development on Ultranova again, which is really exciting. The past couple of weeks I've been knee deep in trying to optimize the, the map generator of Line War and I've converted a lot of code from uh, I was hoping to improve the map generator time from about maybe I think it runs about seven seconds or six seconds my computer now I wanted to try to get it down to three seconds to improve especially the development time that every time we stop and start the game in the editor it takes a long time imagine every time you just make a change and you press play and you want to check it out how it works if you do that 10 times that's uh, 60 seconds and if you do it 100 times that's 600 seconds so it's definitely worth optimizing it and I converted a lot of the code into running into Unity's C Sharp burst mode with the jobs. So I rewrote a lot of the, the, the way the textures work, the way the height map generator works, the way the simplex noise works and everything like that. I converted that to burst code thinking they could be about 10 to 100 times improvement in performance. Well, after all that change actually runs 10 times slower. So I'm obviously doing something wrong there, but I'm going to be working away on that still. So it's taking up uh, quite a lot of my time this week and uh, it's been working. I've been working a lot it last week as well. But still saying that I'm uh, having a good time planning for Ultranova as well. Actually doing some play testing of other platformer games and Metroidvania games. And I'm uh, writing up a little bit of a script because I've played uh, Hollow Knight quite a bit, which is an extremely successful uh, Metroidvania game. And uh, there's a lot of, when you look like 
actually behind the scenes a little bit like what makes that into a successful game why does it have so many good reviews why do people love that game so much so i had that sort of spectacles on me when i was playing the game and i started to write down a lot of things where why i think it's a really successful game and i'm not going to make a clone of that game i just want to take some of the elements that make it really successful and think about it when i do ultra nova and some of the things i'm definitely going to implement and some of the things i'm definitely not because uh, that's more of a deep puzzle game and ultra nova is going to be a faster paced action platformer but it's definitely some key things there and i want to be able to share that with you guys in a video so i'm writing up a script for that it should be exciting all right with that said i think it's time to model ourselves uh, a low poly octopus i nearly said no i've done that before it's going to be a low poly jellyfish and uh, i might actually enable subdivider in panic in the last moment we'll see how that goes Go, and we're off. Yep, it is counting down. So, tab into the mode, and I'm gonna do Shift D to duplicate it, my usual style. Proportional was on. Let's take that off. Right click, subdivide, and let's bump it up to three. And then I'm actually gonna get rid of this default box here. Sorry to say that. <laughs> and delete that on. Eight, select everything, and then I'm gonna go into edit and do circle, my favorite thing, and X, and let's do limited dissolve. We'll move it down again here, and then E to extrude, S to scale. E to extrude, S to scale, E to extrude, S to scale, E to extrude, well, if we could, S to scale, and then just go E to extrude, S to scale, actually scale it all the way down to zero. Eight, select everything, M to merge by distance, and get rid of those. And then here I'm gonna go I to inset, and E to extrude, S to scale, E to extrude, S to scale, E to extrude, S to scale. Should I do like, I think they've got like a thick plump of crap, I nearly said here. <laughs> Let's go for that. I to inset and I think E to extrude inwards a bit. And yeah, that should do. Now I'm gonna go extrude these. So F3 and I'm gonna do checker D select and E to extrude. And let's do, do, do this individually. And I'll put O for proportional on here. It, oh, ooh, I, I can warp the whole thing because it's underwater. It's like a jellyfish. It can look whatever way we want it to be. We don't have to be so precise. I love that stuff when it's like can be a bit random. So E to extrude, rotate, E to extrude, R to rotate, S to scale, and here we go. E to extrude, S to scale, E to extrude, R to rotate, G to move, and E to extrude, R to rotate, E to extrude. And I know, of course, you can do the control right click. I don't know why I don't do that enough, but so control right click will extrude it like this. So much faster, but I feel like it's a little bit less control of where it's going. Because like wherever it's like the viewport angle controls it. Whereas I can like with R I can control it a little more. Let's go with these as well. E to true. I'm gonna subdivide this thing. That's like the capital sin or crime when it comes to low poly, but I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> e to extrude, S to scale, R to rotate, E to extrude, S to scale, and E to extrude, S to scale. That's it. And should I do some uh, some smaller tentacles as well. Is it called tentacles? I don't know. And I think I want something in the center as well. I, I want, do you know what? I'm gonna go for an inner layer here. Right to inset. And let's go, let's do an inner layer here. F3, do checker deselect again, E to extrude. Let's make more tentacles. Or whatever, threads. Let's call it threads or something. Let's just make loads of it. And I have to make it blue as well in case I fail. How am I doing? Seven minutes. Uh, okay. The thing is, like, it could be done now. So I'm not really afraid of failing because as long as I turn it blue, it should be all right. G, E to extrude. And let's just wing it a little bit here. Jelly, jelly, go on. And just feel a bit. There we go. E to extrude, rotate. E to extrude as I wish I could do translucent material. I've never really tried that in Blender because the game engines don't really support it, so I don't really model it in that often. All right, now I'm going to go right, right click on that one Ooh. and uh, let's do Shift D to duplicate these. Move it and P. Actually, I'm going to separate the selection into a new object so I can get a little bit better control there. L, L to select them, move them down so I can see what I'm doing. I to inset twice so I get the individual, and now I'm going to make really thin ones here. So I'm gonna go period and let's do individual is good and I'll do comma and switch to normal scale on the y-axis yeah 
Why is... Uh, okay, actually, I'm going to control I first, delete these things, and then just delete all the faces. It select all of them. Now I can do scale Y, so I can get these really thin things here. And then I'm going to do... Uh, let's just move them up now, scale them down a little bit. Okay, I need to period medium point, scale it down so they go in a little bit. There we go. E to extrude, and here, you know what? I'm going to just go E to extrude, E to extrude, E to, and you know, I'll just do this. E to extrude, E to extrude, E to extrude, S to scale. Okay, period again, because I need the individual origins. So this is not a tutorial on how to do a jellyfish. You can probably make them better if you spend a little bit more time on them, but I'm going to make it. Okay, E to extrude, S to scale, E to extrude, S to scale. There we go. And now I should wonkify this a little bit. How do half half the time is gone? Let's make it blue anyway. So if I like, if the time finishes right now, I pretty much made it happen tonight. So I'm gonna go for it like a darker blue there. And now I'm gonna do a little. I think I want to. Let's should I subdivide it now? First of all, I'm gonna make these brighter so I can distinguish them a little bit. Now I'm going to go on this one, I'm going to go right click, let's go there, control plus three, control plus all the way to there, and control I to invert, and then make these a little bit darker. That's it. And now I'm going to do the cardinal sin here, I'm going to go control two to subdivide the whole thing, and I'm going to do, actually first I should join these. So shift select them, control J to join them into one object. A to select everything, right click and do shade smooth, and then control two to subdivide them. And now I'm gonna just go a little bit crazy with proportional, I think. So Alt O, we want it here with a solid thing in it, so it's not just it's not just the connected, it's everything here. I'm gonna grab those, rotate. Let's bring this up. G. And I'm gonna like have it on a bit of an, on a move here, I think. So it looks like it's moving forward. Whatever forward is on a jellyfish, I have no idea. And I think what I'm gonna do as well, I'm gonna put some ripples in it or something so it looks a little bit less. So I'll just alt click on the edges there to like loops like that I was wrong there. Oh, even what three, 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 okay, that's good. Let's grab these as well. And then should I do alt S to scale? No, I'll do I to inset twice so I get the there, this feels a bit strange, but let's go for it anyway. Okay, that could look good. It, it looks different anyway, so let's go for it. Just wanted it less perfectly rounded. I can set Alt S to scale. Now it's looking like there's some sort of a texture on there. <laughs> and Control R, maybe we should do like a flare here as well. Control R, scale. Control R, scale, Control R, Control R. I don't know what I'm doing now. I'm just like putting some weird <laughs> shapes in it. Scale, Control R, scale. Is that good? Control R, scale. Alt S to scale, maybe. I don't know. Something like that. And then uh, how am I doing? Two minutes to go. So I think I want to drag these out a little bit further, actually. It's difficult to see now when I've got the modifier on. But I'm gonna grab the tips here and we can go back to connected, I think. So Alt O again to get rid of that there. So it's just the connected geometry. G, let's bring this up. Scale them. I'll do control plus of it. Scale, rotate, control minus, rotate. And then these, I think I need to bend a lot more as well. These little small things here. So rotate them. G, maybe a little bit more individual as well. They looked a bit too uniform, I think. Rotate. G, G. I have no idea. Is this a good way to make a jellyfish? <laughs> I have no idea. Not if you want to animate it, it's not. Because then you'd have to rig these things. But. I guess you could still put an armature in it, but then you should do like everything straight anyway. You shouldn't really make it 
this way. Um, I'm really missing that it's not translucent, the materials. Put it on. Never mind. How am I doing? 57 seconds. Can I do, like, they don't have eyes, do they? <laughs> don't think so. Maybe I can just do something to a few of these as well. Let's just grab some. I'm going to try to extrude these as well. Okay, I picked the wrong one. There we go. And should I do Alt E, extrude long face normals, S the scale, rotate, Alt E to extrude long face normals, period, medium point, scale, G, rotate. I have no, it feels like it's too many tentacles now. It just looks uh, super odd though. <laughs> Maybe I can just do G, a bit more organic looking. Gee, I don't even know which one is, which way it's swimming anymore. One second to go, that's it. Blue jellyfish. <laughs> Blue jellyfish, not translucent. That would have been fun to try, but I've never tried translucent material. Maybe one day I'll do that. If you've done something, maybe if you want to participate, if you know anything about translucent uh, materials, I challenge you to go to the Infancia Discord channel. You've got a link in the description. Model a jellyfish, make it blue, put some translucent material on there as well. I'd be excited to see how that could look. And uh, I'm going to be uploading this one in a batch uh, later on to my Patreon. Thanks a lot to you guys who are supporting my, my Patreon. You're making this possible, this channel as well. Really thankful for that. And also, of course, to all my subscribers that uh, wouldn't be here without you guys as well. So thanks a lot for watching this week and I'll see you back next Thursday for another 10 minute modeling challenge. And hopefully I'll be able to put that Hollow Knight uh, analysis video out as well and a few more there. And I'm looking forward to progressing on Ultranova as well. Until next week, have a great one and I'll see you then. Bye for now.